Here we go. Got a good one for you today. I always got a good one, you know that's one of my sayings. How's everybody? You doing well? You feeling all right? You eating well? You got a good diet? Did you know that you are what you eat? Yeah? Eat fruits and vegetables, vitamins and minerals. Do exercise, keep your heart strong. You're gonna feel a lot better, you're gonna have energy. You want energy? You dorm alone? You're always tired? Working hard, stressed? Huh. You gotta eat good fruits and vegetables. It's the deal. The deal with phrasal verbs? It's a verb with other words. The words got names, particle, preposition. They have names. Doesn't matter. It's a verb with other words. Together. That have a different meaning. When the words come together, forget about it. It's different. Feliz is happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Agachaga? That's a person from the interior, not from the coast. Playa is the beach. But when you put Feliz como cachaca en playa, and you tell that to a non-Spanish speaker, they're gone. You say, Feliz como una cachaca en playa. Oh, God, they're gone, they're gone. Well, for Spanish speakers, phrasal verbs are similar. You put them together and they go, oh my God, on, on, on is sobre encima, on, turn on, turn on. Turn on, I don't know. Well, forget it, relax. Get your notebook, copy, I got three secrets. You gotta practice them, that's a secret you know from the beginning, but that's not a secret. Here are secrets. Phrasal verbs are words together that have a different meaning than when they're apart. It's different. And there are three kinds. The first kind doesn't have an object. And you know an object is after the verb. It's part of the structure. Subjects give the verb, objects receive the verb. In this case, no object. Come in, get out. There's no object. Those are common, there are a lot of them. Little by little we learn them. Then you have objects and you can separate the words. You can say, you cannot separate. Huh? Mike, un. Un means no. Un means no. You cannot separate looking for. I'm looking for my glasses. Where are they? The object's at the end. Looking my glasses for? No, no. Look. Sad face. You can't do that. There's an object but you can't separate the verb from the other word. It's a no-no. And then of course, you got the ones that have an object and you can separate it, but it's got a trampita, check, check me, check me. Turn on the TV, mom. Okay. We got the verb and we got the object in the end. Turn it on. Oh. We got the object in the middle. The object is a pronoun. Turn the TV on. It's a noun. But here's the deal. Turn on it now. The object at the end. 
no, no object in the end of the sentence. Turn it on, turn the TV on, turn on the TV, turn on it, no. I'm looking for my glasses, I'm looking for a job. Good. Looking a job for? Looking my vibrador for? No. Get out of here, profe, with all those things. Fresno verbs, three kinds. Words together. Practice makes perfect. If you write sentences and you practice, you'll be good to go. Write, YouTubers, write to my email. Write to YouTube notes. I'll correct it, I'll bring it back to you. Fresno verbs. Big part of English is words together that have a meaning. Bye for now. Have a great day. Healthy diet, exercise, read books. Get off TikTok. Get off these social networks for eight hours a day. Football's nice. Football's great. I recommend it. Football. More than clicks. Bye for now. See you later.